Okay, so um, this is just a video in case anyone isn't 100% sure how to get all this minus all the extra stuff I did, but like mainly this and the capacitor, which is actually pretty good, um, out of a disposable camera right there. So pretty much what you do, this is brand new, um, it's gonna be really difficult to get it out of the package. Um, so you pretty much you take it, and there's a couple things to watch out for just when you're kind of pulling it apart. Uh, you kind of you gotta you don't want to get shocked because um, getting shocked with the with like a few hundred volts kind of sucks because it won't kill you, but it just it's not very comfortable. But yeah, um, so once you get all the cardboard crap off, um, you want to take out the battery, which is, will be right at the bottom, it's double A, it's a uh, no name brand, not very good, uh, and then so here's the camera, now depending on whether the button's actually been pushed or not, the capacitor might have a charge if you accidentally pushed it, I like to check just in case before I start touching everything, because it sucks when you get shocked. Um, so if I can somehow see. Actually. Perfect. Okay. So I will take this apart in my uh, duct tape camera stand here. So pretty much there's a few latches you want to uh, unhook. So there's, there's two here. Um, there's two here, there is two here, and one right there. So once you kind of, it's kind of, it kind of takes a bit of prying, but once you get them, it usually just pops right, right apart, which is handy, because if it didn't come apart, that would suck. <laughs> uh, I just usually use like a thin, I guess it'd be a screwdriver for your glasses or something. And I just. That's one. And then you get these two. It doesn't really need much. Just bent my screwdriver. I should probably do those last. Get these two. So that's two. Or th that's the second grouping of them. Uh, and you don't actually. Oh yeah, you do. Never mind. Three, four. camera. And uh, a good way, a place you can get the cameras if you don't want to spend 15 bucks on a brand new one. I took the film out, well, yeah, I took the film out of this one, but um, just to put it in another camera. But um, you can sometimes go to like Walmart or a place where they actually develop them and you can just ask and they should usually just give them to you for free or something, or maybe like a buck or 50 cents each. But yeah, so here, here's the camera now. It's disassembled, more or less, I guess. And then there's one final little tab you gotta get, and it's right, right there. And that will just, you just flick that, and then the whole thing comes right off. And I'm just check and capacitor's not charged. Just good. Uh, so yeah, so that's that. And that is kind of the more primitive one of this. I get I'm hoping I hope you can see the similarities. It's not that difficult, but uh 
yeah, and and that's how to get the capacitor with a bonus charger for the capacitor or multiple capacitors out of the camera. And just another little note, word of advice, uh, this little strip on the side represents the negative lead. So the, the little, the I, I can't remember which one it is, the anode or cathode, but I think it's cathode. But uh, yeah, that one's negative. So keep that in mind, because if you charge a capacitor backwards, it could explode, which would suck, because you lose your capacitor and it could injure or hurt you. That's the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>